Now, mm -hmm. when it, it says it destroyed all that grew on the ground, one of the things that they found in their report is that when this meteor comes and it explodes over the Dead Sea, right, which then the shockwave pushes down into the Dead Sea and then shoves that all over the land. What's unique about the Dead Sea? It's salty. Oh, that's right. You got this a rock from, from the, the Dead, Dead sea. sea. Well done. It's a salt rock. That's a good little prop. So you find that all over the place because this thing is nine times more salty. It's salty, folks. Than the oceans. If if you go in there and like they tell ladies that not to shave your legs before you go in there because it will burn. Yeah, you figure out if you have any cuts. Yeah, yeah. You know all the guys that have hemorrhoids, <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> because that salt like will light you on fire. It is super salty. You like float way above the water. It's kind of a bizarre it's a weird experience. Experience. So now imagine a meteor exploding, hitting that massively salty region, and then it shoves all this melted and evaporated salt all over the land. At 740 miles per hour. That's right. Do you know what in the ancient world what they would do to enemies' territories after they conquered them? Salted. They salted them. 